We had this like home trampoline in our backyard uh, when we were kids and we'd just double bounce each other and just try and yeah I think my legs made it around the third time but my head didn't and fairly certain I fractured my um, sternum. Sternum, yeah, yeah, sternum. Yeah, but I ran inside and I didn't know what it was called or I kind of hobbled inside and I told my dad I fractured my scrotum and he just <laughs> laughed. It really blew my mind. Career highlights and more with your favorite winter athletes. This is On The Line. Joining me today, Mr. Mark McMorris. Mark, how are you and where are you? Cheers, Henry. I am doing just fine and I'm in Whistler, British Columbia, Canada. Looks like you've been doing all right. Yeah, just trying to stay active. Been surfing a lot, or at least at the start of the pandemic I was. I spent from late March through late May uh, in Hawaii, maybe even into June. Um, surfed pretty much every day and felt some real good progression and then doing a lot of skateboarding now that I've been up in Canada. Um, so honestly, it's been really good to hone in on some new crafts. Popping up a couple of little shots in uh, Mason Ho's edits. It's nice that he's put me in there. I'm definitely below average still or below average of the people I'm around surfing, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun and having the right teachers really does help. Been back on the board again. It's all some great clips from Hood. Thank you. Yeah, the summer up there was really, really fun. I went up for about seven or eight days and did a Burton shoot and then back to SoCal and then I had to get back up there because it was so much fun and we dealt with some weather the first time I went. Went back, had it perfect, had a great crew and honestly it was the most fun I've ever had at Mount Hood and I felt very grateful to be snowboarding while everyone else was um, just missing it like all hell. A bunch of skating, seen some clips on there, the latest post as well. I went back to my hometown of Regina, Saskatchewan, saw family and friends and went to my local, which is uh, quite a nice park actually. It's like a plaza feel, not a lot of tranny, but that's kind of what I grew up skating. So yeah, just having a lot of fun and trying to uh, always get better at whatever I'm up to. Could you just pick out a couple of highlights for you? Yeah, totally. I think um, the very first time I ever made a U.S. Open final in maybe like 2007 or 8 was definitely pretty monumental because I was just dropping in with all my heroes and realizing, oh, this could be a reality for me. Doing the first ever backside triple cork was definitely something that stood out. Winning a Olympic medal after breaking my ribs a week prior definitely stood out. Breaking 17 bones and wrecking all my insides and then going to the next games less than a year later and getting another medal was pretty special. And I think definitely my most special contest win though would definitely be the 2019 X Games where um, I did it. I was the last person to drop and I was not on the podium and I did definitely my best slope style run to date. And those are some of the things that stick out, making a movie, getting a video game, things like that. Definitely I'll cherish for um, as long as I can even remember things. First the leg break and then the backcountry crash. Yeah, exactly. Late February of 16, I broke my femur. And up until that point, I pretty much felt invincible. And then um, I had a good recovery and had a great contest season. And I remember I just had finished in Norway and I had won a big air event at the X Games there. And then I came here and my very first day in the backcountry in Whistler, I whacked a tree and went night night. And that was, that was a serious accident. And I wake up grateful every day that I'm still around because there, it was pretty touch and go for sure. And then, yeah, I was able, just super lucky to have the injuries that you could rehab to perform again at the level I'm performing at, so. I mean, whoever's not seen Unbroken, like you gotta go and watch that and see what you went through next. Thanks for talking about Unbroken. That's, that's something I'm really proud of. That's a neat, neat film. If anyone's going through anything, it's definitely a motivator. It's time for a bit of a trivia round. So if you get four questions or less correct, then we've got an extra special dare lined up for you. The first ever snowboarding Olympic gold medalist. 
Gian Simon. How many freestyle medals in total? Oh, first ever snowboarding? I thought freestyle. It's Ross Rebeglietti. Very good. How many freestyle medals in total have been awarded in Olympic snowboarding? Okay, can I can I do yeah, some counting minute, real quick? I don't know, I'm kind of lost, but I, I would say like 60. Very close, 54. Who won double gold at X Games 2012 in Aspen? Me. Me, very good, there you go. Bonus point for anyone else who's ever won double gold? Uh, Max Parrott has, Sean White has. Very good. According to the Red Bull website, what is your brother Craig's favorite food? <sighs> Pasta. Bang on, <laughs> well done. And according to your own website, what are your snowboard stance, width, and angles? Well, I wonder when this was done. Yeah. I, I would go like posi 12 and nag six or something. So we've got plus 10 and minus five, and the width? Yeah, so that, I, I just have no clue when it is, <laughs> at 22. 22.5, very close. That's four, right, so technically no dare for you. Okay, good, that's, that's a win then. We'll take it. Would you rather get all of your fingers stuck in different bottles or your wrists stuck in jars? Bottles. Would you rather be eaten by maggots from the inside out or ants from the outside in? Maybe from the inside, I would be so ticklish with all the ants. Never do a method again or never ride pow again? I would never do a method again, yeah. Fair There's enough. so many good grabs. I've done enough methods in my life. So would you rather never see the mountains again or never see the ocean again? Well, I, I would need to be in the mountains. Would you rather win every contest you ever enter for the rest of your life, but have your style deteriorate until it's like really, really whack, or never win a contest again, but be renowned as the most stylish rider of all time? Option number two, style. We're gonna move into a section which is called Truths. At the time that you tried a triple backflip on the trampoline, what happened there? Yeah, we had this like home trampoline in our backyard uh, when we were kids and we'd just double bounce each other. My legs made it around the third time, but my head didn't and I'm fairly certain I fractured my um, Sternum? Sternum, yeah, yeah, sternum. Yeah, but I ran inside and I didn't know what it was called, or I kind of hobbled inside, and I told my dad I fractured my scrotum, and he just <laughs> laughed. So, but yeah, and also my dad wasn't the guy that would like take us to the hospital. He'd be like, Rock Was he it just off. like, oh, you're you fine? Know? Yeah, you're good. But I know that I did because I still experience sternum pain if I sleep wrong and shit. Do you do garage workouts or do you go to the gym? Ever since COVID happened, We've been doing workouts on Zoom twice a week. You don't really have much of an excuse not to be there, especially in the early stages. So I really did feel some progression and probably in the best shape I've ever been in my life. Who buys more stuff, you or Coco? Oh yeah? Big time me. I, I, I actually had a, yeah, yep. I spend too much money. Yeah, it, it, make, it makes you more motivated to make more, right? That's uh, my motivation to just keep Whooping people, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there you go, Mark. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Mark, thank you very much for joining us all the way from Worcester, Canada. You've been a great guest. Thank you, Henry. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Yeah!